So I was asked about how I make my paracord uh, fishing lures and where the video was at and I cannot find the video so I'm going to make one here and hopefully uh, show you guys what I do. This is one that I've already made and I use these little 8 inch uh, jig heads that you get at Walmart. The one I'm going to be using today is got a little spinner on it but basically the same concept, little jig head here. I'm going to need a lighter. I uh, use a little disposable pair of actually medical scissors. Got a keychain spike or a mini keychain spike. Got that from Shane Marks over at Rhino Rope Work. Uh, if you guys need any needles, any um, marlin spikes, anything like that, go over and see Shane. It's rhinoropework.com. Uh, he is on Facebook under Rhino Rope Work and it'll actually take you to his Facebook page. So you guys check him out. Um, the little jig heads I get come in a little bag like this. Um, they're a couple bucks, nothing big deal. And the main ingredients, a cheap piece of scrap paracord. What we're going to do is cut off about an inch and a half, two inch piece of paracord here. Cut that. And one thing that I do is I gut my paracord. So I'm going to take a little pair of tweezers here and see if we can't pull the inside strands out. And I apologize if this video quality is bad. I'm actually recording on an iPad, so we will see how it turns out. All right, there we go. We got it. I gutted a piece of paracord there. And to do this, I'm going to slide it right up here. I'm going to be real careful so we don't stick the hook through the side of the paracord. Okay. Almost there. There we go. Now, if you guys notice, there's a little barb right there. And I actually saw my paracord, so it's up above the barb just a little bit, so that when I melt it, that barb is going to catch into my cord. Now, what I'm going to do is take this little lighter here. I'm just going to melt it and kind of shrink it down around it. And Uh, there may be a better way of doing this than using your fingers there to touch that hot cord. So I will disclaimer, you can burn yourself. I've been doing this quite a while. So we're just going to kind of shrink that whole piece of paracord. And there we are. It's melted up around it there real good over the bar. Now to the fun part. This is where my little spike comes in handy. All I'm going to do is unravel the cord here. I'm just going to stick it up in there and use it to pull the, the little fibers of the cord apart. And some cord is a little bit easier to do than others. This is actually a a really tightly woven piece that I picked here. Probably should have picked a little bit better piece for the video, but either way, you guys can see exactly how I'm doing it here. And I'm just basically pulling the strands out, just fanning it out. kind of run it with your fingers too it does help and I'm just going to keep doing this till I get up just a little bit farther on the hook here. And 
And I'm basically just unraveling it. I'm just pulling it out. go up just a little bit farther here we're about there get about to where I had melted down and kind of tighten it around the hook so now it's just kind of fuzzy here now what I'm gonna do to make this so it'll fan a little bit easier is I'm gonna pull everything down to the very tip here and I'm just gonna trim them tips just to make it all uniform so now we got it all uniform good and uniform and I'm going take my fingers and just twist it and fuzzy it up now you guys can use any color I like using bright colors that's why I'm using this little like a lime green colored uh, jig head here a little eighth inch or I'm sorry eighth ounce and just pull my cord on around and kind of crunch it up there I said the biggest thing is just to uh, twist it, fan it out a little bit with your fingers. And that's really all there is to it here, guys. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video. That's a finished product. Hope you can see that. And let's go fishing. If you guys have any questions, post them in the comments, and I will do my best to answer them. As well as, you're welcome to hit me up on Facebook.